Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Mariana Lassi Moyeda. So today we're actually, I think this is a part two of actually of my video for the Boxy Lux um, unboxing for September. Um, today we're actually going to do the try on. So I've already put um, my eyebrows, I've already put primer on my eyelids and I've already put my foundation. Um, I didn't do the rest of it only because concealer I want to wait till after I do my eyeshadow just in case there's any fallout since I'm not sure and I hate to have to do my face and then there's fallout and then I have to go back and clean it up. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Today we're going to use the Nightingale uh, palette that came in the box and it's the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Palette. Um, these colors are beautiful. Look at these. They're beautiful. So I'm just going to start real quick with the eye, um, brushes that came with it. And I'm just going to set down my primer. I kind of did it, but I want to make sure that I start with a nice clean um, surface before I go in there with any sort of shadow. Um, so next, I want something kind of um, not too dramatic or anything because it is for the day we are going out today. But I don't want to look like those ladies who have like a ton of makeup on. So we're going to go ahead and go on in with this color right here, Hide and Seek. And we're just going to use that um, as our base color. And it's a really nice color, as you can see right here, very neutral tone. Um, perfect as a base. Now let's go and do the other eye. And as you can see, I focus on the corner only because I do like to have that corner always a little bit darker. Okay. Um, that's actually looking really nice. I like the way it's looking right here in the mirror. Um, next we're going to go with the flip out, but as you can see, flip out is kind of dark. So we're just going to grab like a little bit in our brush and I'm going to use the same brush and we're just going to tap some of it out and then we're just going to pat it down. Okay. See what I mean? See how it's kind of little on the dark side? So let's pat it out and then work our way out or I should say towards in. How is that looking, you guys? These colors are really nice. Okay, let's do the same thing. Pat. And as you can see, I'm doing it kind of in a circular motion only because we want to try and blend this color out. Um, So this is looking like really good. I hope you guys are like in this little blend here okay now we're gonna go ahead and swap out our brushes for this little flat brush that came and we're gonna go in with this little shimmery color um we're gonna do it ever so lightly only because it you know what should we do pillow fight i think we're gonna do pillow fight it's this color on top we're just gonna grab it with our brush Tap a little bit of the excess and then go in on our eyelid. This color is beautiful. I really like the way it's looking. I hope the color is coming out on camera. Um, so you guys see it? How is it looking? Okay, so now we're going to go with our little flat brush that also came in our box. And we're going to go in into our waterline. So we're going to go ahead and go back with our um, hide and seek color right here. Only because I use it. Well, only because I want to go in with the hide and seek with the flat liner brush so I can um, line the waterline. And I'm using the high density color for the waterline only because I do want to set a base before I go in with a darker shade. Um, we're not trying to go that dark because like I said, this is a day look. So 
see how little goes a long way and now we're gonna go ahead and do the same to the other side And there you have it, our lash line, our waterline is lined. So I'm just gonna step away real quick so I can finish doing my concealer and putting on powder to set this on. And then we're gonna come back and continue with the rest of the look. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. So I basically put on some mascara and put on my concealer, set my face down with some powder. So now we're gonna go ahead and try the Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette here that we have. I've heard that a little goes a long way, so I'm just going to get any brush that I have. I'm going to go ahead and dip into this um, color right here, and let's hope for the best. Okay, so, I don't know you guys. Oh, this is a nice color. I always like to go here, like on the little bronze on my forehead and then near my hairline and then of course my cheek always going up and I'm gonna try and match the other side this is actually a really nice um color it is pigmented but I don't feel like it's like oh my god crazy pigmented I feel like just with the right brush you can get the right color so I think we're good um how does it look hopefully it looks good so now we're gonna go with the Laura Geller Bakes blush and brighten um trophy hues this color is really nice but um watch this and there's like a lot of fallout so let's see how it goes but see how it looks it's a really beautiful color like I really liked it um, what I really liked about this is that I feel like I can use it as a blush and as a highlight. I mean, hopefully it's not too crazy of a highlight. So I'm just going to grab another simple brush, seeing how little I put on there. Let's see how this goes. You know what? This is really nice. It's not like crazy as I thought it was going to be. I feel like it just gives me like the perfect little shimmer. Let's do the other side. I like to go a little high. Um, does it feel like I need more? Let's see. I feel like I can use a little bit more. Oh, there we go. This color is really nice. I really wish you guys can see it in person. Oh, look at that. The little shimmer on this is perfect. I'm really loving it. Next, we're going to do lips. So, this is a Hank and Henry um, liquid lipstick. It's a matte color and it's in Petal Pusher. And from what I heard um, from certain like other reviews and when they were doing the spoilers, this is an exclusive to like BoxyCharm. Um, this color specifically, it's not out for sale apparently. It's just for the BoxyCharm or the Boxy Lux. So I felt really lucky, fortunate to have been able to have received this specific color because I know there was a variation in colors, but to have received this, it's, I was really like thrilled by it. So when I did the unboxing and I did the swatches, what I really liked about this specific um, liquid lip color is because look at that wand. It's uh, different from other ones that I've used and I like that it's pointy like that because it can give you like a good really precision on how on when you put it on itself. So let's go on there because this is a really nice color.
Okay, and as you can see, it was just one time. I did not have to dip it back in. I didn't have to constantly, as you can see, they're really quick, smooth application. And I really, really like that because I hate having to just kind of not rub my lips and having to go with it a couple of times to get that color on. Or I hate having to dip it back in. I That's like the last thing I want to do. The last thing that we're going to put on on our face for this try-on is the Smashbox Photo Finish Serene Greens Primer Water. So... I believe there was also a variation in this one. I just so happen to have gotten this and let's see how it works because I hear that this is supposed to be, um, it can be used in different ways. You can either do it to um, prime your face, you do it beforehand, or you can do it to set your face, or you can use it throughout the day to refresh your face. So let's see how this goes. The smell. It's like really like, um, it's gonna sound weird, but it's like you're in the jungle. It's so like green fresh, if that makes any sense at all. So here we have our final look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoy the look and you guys find it as easy as I did to go ahead and do it. Um, if you do go ahead and like it, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would like really appreciate it. Um, for now, have a great day, everyone, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.